Washington was a pioneer, as in many things related to drug policy, on the legalization of cannabis. And in during the movement was all around criminal justice and ab about giving the opportunity for people that would like to change their perception of reality through cannabis, uh, not be criminalized for that behavior, uh, was also to giving more opportunity for people to uh, sought treatment without having the stigma, was not around creating something else, a product that would be manufactured uh, to be used and to look different than the plant. What is available for Washington residents? Uh, if people are choosing the flower, uh, we know the flower has been developed in a more stronger uh, form, and when I say stronger form, I'm talking about the THC uh, concentration on it. So before legalization, you have flower around eight, 10 percent, and uh, things legalization with new technologies, you are getting plants between 10 and 20 percent of THC in it. Uh, with legalization also came this drive uh, of the industry to develop new products. Uh, and these products have way, way, way higher uh, THC uh, concentration. They range from 60 even to 90% of THC. So uh, yeah, it's absolutely a dose response relationship. More you, you use THC, more content of THC in your products, more likely you are to become addicted to it, or we would say technically having a cannabis use disorder, and more likely you are to develop a psychotic episode, a acute psychotic episode, and potentially a psychotic disorder, which is rare, but increases your chance a lot. We are facing a mental health epidemic uh, in the last five years with no precedent. We are seeing, on the other hand, the consumption of cannabis and this very potent products increasing uh, exponentially. And these two things come together uh, in a moment that everything indicates that if we don't do something some years from now, the mental health crisis in our country are going to be exacerbated. Cannabis is a wild west. You don't even have uh, a capacity to understand with our labels to understand how much you are consuming. What is the serving size? What is the serving size of a highly concentrated cannabis or a joint in TAC? That's you know the unit what of why you're selling. You don't have that. There are not uh, warnings. People are blind on understanding that if they use highly concentrated THC products, they are more likely to develop psychotic disorders than if they uh, use you know, lower potency products. And some people have a genetic uh, predisposition with family background, and they may want to know that. They want to make the choice. We are not giving Washington State the ability of people to make informed choice about the products they are using when it comes to cannabis.